When I started doing photography and filmmaking, my dad gave me this camera. Now this camera is from 1979, which is 10 years older than I am. Now I've never shot with a camera that one is as old as this and two shoots film. That's a lie. Apart from those disposable cameras you get at weddings, which I think are a fantastic idea. But in the words of Forrest Gump's mum, you never know what you're gonna get. But yeah, so this is new to me. So yeah, this thing has been sitting in my office for about five, six years, until now. So we are currently in Mallorca on our first family holiday with our little boy, and what better way to capture it than on film? That sound, it's like you're loading a shotgun. Now I love it when my mum brings out the old family photo albums and your life and theirs are like documented and archived in these old dusty books. The photos don't get lost in a hard drive somewhere. They don't get deleted when the files are corrupted. They are real physical analog memories that will last decades, centuries even. The sun is playing havoc with the exposure right now. So please forgive me if this looks terrible. Running gun filmmaking, what can I say? Check this little place out. It's pretty sweet. It's nice to get some shade, don't we? What is that? That is cool. Can I get in there? I don't think it's, I don't think it's open. Maybe it's open. No entrance here. Sneak in. Definitely some kind of building site here. Look at this place. I'm not sure I'm allowed to be in here. One of the main differences that I'm kind of struggling to get my head around so far is that you've only got 35 shots and you can't see what you've shot until they're developed later on. That is starting to be a bit of a struggle. You get a bit spoiled nowadays with the new cameras where you snap something, you look at the back of the camera, oh, that wasn't quite right, you snap something again. There is no spray and pray anymore. It's 35 and done. You need to change the role, you know? There's no going back. There's no deleting off the card, which is definitely a learning curve. I'm still trying to get my head around it, but it also gives you that little bit of FOMO because you might miss something later on. If you run out of film, you run out of film. You know what I mean? And I only brought this photo camera and my phone, I suppose, on this holiday with me. So if I miss something, it's gone. It's screwed, kind of. Right, I better get out of here because I'm quite nervous about being in here. It looks like a construction site. I don't think I'm supposed to be in here. It does look like it's for sale though. Only 887,398 euros and four cents. What a bargain. Oh, and one thing they don't tell you when you're shooting film is that when you're going through airport security, if you put your film through the x-ray scanner, it can develop your film and ruin all your shots or develop them before you even take any shots. I'm pretty glad that I learned that before I flew. Make sure you got a plastic bag with all your film in it. Hand it over to security, you're fine. Now I'm not gonna lie, this camera is slightly cheating as it's aperture priority. So that means I can set my camera aperture and it selects the shutter speed for me. So I can't really do any slow shutter stuff or anything like that. So it's almost like a safety net for me, which I am totally thankful for since this is first family holiday, don't wanna mess things up and just kind of learning how this all works. It's actually pretty cool. So yeah, this little camera has captured so many of my family's memories and I'm more than happy to continue that tradition with my own family. So here's to making memories that last a lifetime. Cheers guys, see you next time.